Hello! I have an updated video tour for you today. Stay tuned and check it out. The first exciting update in Penelope is there is a third seat in the cab. The headrest does go up and down if my younger daughter's head is a little bit higher than that. When it's folded down though, the headrest does need to be all the way down. We realized that there was about this much more padding on this chair, which wasn't that great. So I just cut I just cut the bottom and used a, used a saw to just saw off the padding and now she's got a bit of leg room. Might need to put a bumper on here so she doesn't hit her knees too much. The seat I got off Craigslist comes with its own seatbelt. No shoulder strap, but that's all right. The way that you put it down is by using that lever and it folds right down. I finally have some drink cup holders too. The second excitement in Penelope is my kitchen is 90% done. I am going to replace this. This was just a bit of extra blackout curtain that I had. I'm going to pop a picture up right now of the curtains that I'm going to put in there. So you guys can check it out. It's a map of Canada, which I thought was pretty cool. So first of all, take a look underneath. That bucket right there is doesn't stay there. That's actually our pee bucket. I've got a pipe insulation that goes around the edge. That is our five walk gallon gray water bucket. This turned out to be our shoe area, which I think actually kind of works nice. Got things bungeed down. This bungee goes around the cord so nothing can really open up. I bungee down where my stove goes. It's got a bungee around it too. It's painted white, not as you can see a great job or anything. It's mostly just the mold and mildew paint so that if anything does get wet, it won't cause any mold and mildew on the wood. But here is my sink setup. I did buy an extra straw came in two different sizes and the big size only had straight straws which doesn't quite work but I'm thinking that if I attach the straw together this way and cut this straw maybe in a third or a half then it'll give me a little bit more but for now that here it works really great And the sink is removable, so if I'm at a picnic bench, I can just take it outside to the picnic bench and off I go. There's my funnel system like I showed in the last video. I ended up tiling the countertop. You can see the, uh, the glue through a couple of these places and uh, put a little bead along the back that I'm going to need to do a second one. That's okay, but for now she works. I've got a bit of counter space. Everything is great. Bought a little stool from the thrift store, which is a great height. It's funny, the stool doesn't actually fit anywhere, so I'm going to have to just bungee it down. <laughs> it's kind of funny when that happens. It's my blackout curtain. It keeps out a surprising amount of heat from the cab. I've already got a bunch of food in here, ready for when we go camping. Again, this has turned into the miscellaneous. Hi! The miscellaneous uh, cupboard with a mirror. Oh hi, it's me. Got some cute little fake plants. I am gonna redo this floor at one point. As you can see, I need to get the plastic caulk off the floor here. That's about it, the rest you've seen. No problema. I thought for sure I would be taking my bed up each day, but I've left it like this and I come and hang out in here fairly often. I got an upgrade. You can see I've got another foam there. Eventually I'm going to get a padding for around it, but for now I just take it out to air it out. 
my daughter's bed. All the sheets are off right now in the wash. This guy's name is Shadow. He likes to hang out. This extra foam here was left over from when I cut the bed and I'm going to put the foam just over in here for when I'm sleeping so that I'm extra cozy. Here's a bunch of more storage underneath my bench. I'm really glad that this big tote fit under here. That's our another miscellaneous bin. You know, tarps and bungees and my extra propane. The plastic piece here is the top of my table that goes down a couple of different sizes. I bungeed that so it doesn't move while we're in transport. The plywood piece goes on top of my stair over here, which gives me a bit of additional floor room so that if I'm washing dishes inside, then I'm not stepping out over a stair. I did get some paint on my floor. I need to get some paint thinner. Oh well. This tarp, I'll pop a picture up of what I did on the top of the ambulance to make it work so that I can just clip it with carabiners right to the top. And I really like this tarp because it folds up so small and it dries really quick. Got my leveling blocks and behind that I've got some stabilizer jacks, which I haven't been needed to use my stabilizer jacks because it's really quite stable in here. There's my little tool bag. That right there, I did end up buying myself a 10 by 10 canopy because it was on sale at Walmart for $89. In behind that is an additional camping chair. Those are the bags that our beds can go in. And then in our, my long bin here, you can see I've got two more camping chairs and I'm gonna pop a picture up at the end here, all the way down in here. All of this whole bit here goes right to about about here I guess I've got two more five gallon jugs and I've got my outdoor carpet in there this bungee is gonna put bungee up to there to keep our bikes all secure thanks for checking out my video I'll post another one of camping once we get back safe travels everyone